As Bernheim Forest celebrates its 95th anniversary, the art and conservation nonprofit has many upcoming developments and expansions to unveil, beginning with two new stages to the renowned Playco system. The expansions will feature two new areas, beginning with new obstacles and expanded play opportunities. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit wilder, a uh, little bit more uh, designed for older children. And then it moves up into a 10 acre area that's one of the most beautiful wooded areas here at Bernheim for exploration play. So nature play, adventure play, exploration play all work together to create a really dynamic environment for children to just be in nature having fun. With over 16,000 acres of forest and ongoing art and conservation initiatives, the nonprofit has no shortage of needs from donors, guests, and corporate partners. One of those is the James B. Beam Distillery, which is a neighbor of ours here in Claremont. And we work closely with them to try to protect not only the, the character and the, uh, and the cultural resources within Claremont, but also working on protecting the ecological uh, features and the biodiversity and the clean water that we have here in Claremont. Recently, the James B. Beam Distillery recommitted to an investment of $100,000 each year for the next five years, helping preserve the nonprofit's 90 miles of waterways. You know, over 22 billion gallons of water fall every year here in Bernheim Forest, and it soaks through these limestone rocks that we see around me and filters down through the rocks into these streams where it emerges in these creeks, uh, providing a critical source of clean water, not just for our, uh, our community, communities and the people that live downstreams, but for also some of our, our corporate partners, but also most importantly, it provides for the biodiversity um, and the aquatic habitats that are so important for the ecosystem. Expansions to Bernheim's Playco system will be complete by the end of 2024, and new art installations throughout the park will follow soon after. Reporting in Claremont, Derek Parham, WBKO News.